holy banana ramble, you guys. I am excited. Do you like weenie coladas? And get caught in the rain. When you're not in the weenie. When you have half a wing. When you like when you love a weenie. To the taste of weenie. <laughs> Gus. Sorry my little Gus who gumbles. Sorry guys, I'm trying to fit in the frame while sitting on the edge of the chair. Hello everybody, uh, Swan's here today to make a video. I had my dog's DNA tested and today we're gonna find out what she is. Now, obviously I... Happy me! Obviously, I have some idea what my dog is, but you know, there's always question when you get a mixed breed, which is totally fine. And sh I did not pay for her. I think some people think I paid for her. I definitely didn't. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just fed her her own eye booger. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I forget I'm on camera. She likes eating them. What am I going to do? Not give them to her? They're her own eye boogers. If she wants to eat them, she's allowed. <laughs> okay, anyway. I suspect her to be an Australian cattle dog and a Catahoula, uh, Catahoula cur or leopard hound. Or they have a lot of different names. Oh, are we going to both sit back like this now? Sweet. This is going to work. Um, so that's what she is supposed to be. And, um... Australian cattle dogs are actually my favorite breed of dog. They are, <laughs> they are what you would call a blue or red healer. People also sometimes call them Queensland healers, but it's all the same type of dog. They are so beautiful. Um, and they're just the coolest fucking dogs, man. So I definitely wanted one of those. And little weenie here. That's what her father was, but I also think her dad was mixed with something because his ears weren't all the way pointed, which um, Australian cattle dogs have very pointy ears, and her dad had point with like a little flop at the tip, and so I think he was probably mixed with something. And then her mom is the Catahoula Leopard Hound, and they have, you know, they they look like hound dogs, you know, that's why she doesn't have a super... Um, cattle dog face or anything like that. One of the biggest issues I have had with her since I've had her, which is almost her whole life, like I said, I didn't pay for her. I got her from my friends who adopted these two dogs, um, like to rescue them. And then before they got them fixed, like within, they were under a year old still when they ended up having puppies. So, um, then obviously they, fix them afterwards and uh, I ended up taking one. Oh, Pa! Thank you. Um, and so I saw her when she was born. She was the cutest little fucking potato. I'm gonna put pictures up because she was the most cutest potato I've ever seen. Oh my god. I love her so much. And then um, when I ended up actually adopting her, she was about five months old, I think. So I've, I've had her pretty much her whole life. She's four and a half now. And um, the biggest issue I've had with her is that usually uh, people immediately think that she's a pit bull, which I just want to say, I don't have anything against pit bulls. I know there's statistics out there that say they're a dangerous breed. I've personally never met a dangerous pit bull in my life. If anything, all the pit bulls I have ever met have very wonderful, you know, personalities. Uh, a, a lot better of personality than she has. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Once you get to know what her breeds are, she to a T is a working dog. Part of the reason why I'm excited to move to Colorado is because I wanna be able to get her out. And why are you crying? She's squeaking because she's confused as to why I'm talking so much, but nothing's happening. 
running around in the mountains and doing dog, big dog stuff, you know? Yeah, a lot of people assume immediately that she's a pit bull and uh, I've had a lot of issues with that. The last place that I lived, the guy asked me if she was a pit bull and I said no and um, he actually took a picture of her while I was not home and brought it to the vet and showed someone or showed someone he knows who works at a vet or something and they were like yeah that's probably a pit bull. First of all, what? And then he used that information to like leverage against me like that I lied to him about what the breed of my dog was and I was just like dude you can't it what anyone who's just gonna look at a picture of a dog and say yeah probably they're not fucking qualified dude you need to see a dog in person and you need to test its DNA to be fucking qualified right to know exactly everything what it is and my biggest qualm with this is she looks nothing like a pit bull thank you for the paw sweetie she really doesn't like I get that she's got a hound dog face, um, and I can see why someone would think she w was one, but if you put, like, if you're pulling from memory, it's like trying to draw from memory. If, if you drew a pit bull from, from memory, it might look something like my dog, but if you put her next to an actual pit bull, they look nothing the same. And obviously there's so many breeds of dog that are called pit bull, right? American bully, you know, English bulldog, uh, Staffordshire terrier. There's like five different breeds of dog and they all look kind of different. So, <coughs> Jesus, Sarah, you need help. I have nothing against pit bulls, absolutely nothing. I wanna know if there's any of that in here. I just wanna know exactly what she is so that I can say confidently in the future and know that I'm not making anything up. Isn't that right, sweet baby? So now, um, I have got the email, God, I'm covered in dog hair. I got the email today, and I promptly did not open it. So I used Wisdom Panel, and I swabbed her cheeks and sent it in, and it said it was gonna take up to like three weeks, but it was definitely faster than that. So, so far, I mean, I was not expecting it to come back this quickly. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, Weenie. We can figure out what you are. I'm so excited. Discover all about cauliflower. Let's get started. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm gonna throw up. Cauliflowers breed by percentage. Oh my god. What? I'm shocked. No wonder why you're such a cunt. I'm so shocked. Oh my god. So she's only 25% Australian cattle dog. So she's only a quarter Australian cattle dog. Then she's 25% plot. I don't know what a plot is. And then she's 12.5% chow chow. And she's 37.5% breed groups. I don't know what that means. So she's a big mutt, huh? Okay, they're gonna break it down. Um, although the plot hound isn't technically apple pie, it's about as American, huh? These loyal and alert dogs are one of the few breeds that originated in the United States without any British ancestry. Wow. Okay. Dude, I gotta Google this. I've literally never heard of it. Okay. Then she's 12.5% chow chow, um, which, that's crazy wiener. You got some chow in there, weenie. You got chow in the weenie age. You got chow in your weenie age, baby. Maybe that's why you're so mean and so gumbo bumbo. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I've heard that chows are mean, and the only chows I've ever met in my life were actually pretty mean, so I actually really don't know. Um, like, I know that that's... What anecdotal evidence, right? Uh, but that's all I have. <laughs> now, what the frick is 37.5 breed groups is most likely related to? Okay, we tested cauliflower's ancestry for specific pure breeds, going back three generations or to the great grandparents. Beyond this, today's technology can only identify down to the genetic group level, supporting toy, guard, etc. We know the breeds found in these groups that cauliflower may share genetic similarities with, many of them. We've arranged these in order, with the most likely starting at the top. The breeds displayed are examples of breeds in each specific group. 
The full list for each can be found on the breeds we analyzed. Click the link below. Yeah, so the the breed groups she's most likely relate most likely related to are the herding group, the guard group, and the hound group, which I guess would all make sense. Like now it's leaving me wondering like that means she's not Catahoula at all, right? Because I the reason why I chose the wisdom panel was because when I went online I checked to make sure that they did test for Catahoula. Um, sorry, she left. <laughs> I made sure they tested for Catahoula as well as Australian Cattle Dog, which was the two things I thought that she was. And if it had been one of her parents, it would have shown up, right? Because they only go back three generations. That means she's not a Catahoula at all, dude. So what is that then? That means her mom, dude, I don't know, that's crazy. You guys, help me figure this out. I'm so bad at this. But, I mean, overall, she is, uh, she's is she got some catalog in there, which I think is pretty obvious by the uh, stature of her body. But I'm really interested to read more about that plot thing because I had never heard of that before, and uh, I'm pretty excited. Oh, wait, there's a family tree thing. Okay, so, oh, oh, it tells you which parent is which. Dude. So her first parent was Australian Cattle Dog and Plot Hound, which I believe is her dad. Um, and I'll throw up a picture of her dad, right? Parent two is Chow Chow and Breed Groups. So it's possible that the parent two is Catahoula, I guess? Yay. All right, Weenie. Say hello to the camera. Weenie, you're not looking. Weenie, say hello to the camera. Weenie, <gasps> say hello to the camera. Weenie. So the only thing about that that was confusing to me was that, um, I guess whatever her mom's makeup is is like, I don't know, is she too much of a mutt for them to to figure it out because it it only came back with you know 15% chow from her mom. So I don't really know what the rest of that is. I suppose it's totally possible that her mom does have Catahoula because it said herding groups and guard group and hound groups, which I think Catahoulas are like a, a mix of those. But I'll put up pictures like of the parents throughout this and then you guys can tell me in the comments, like those of you who are probably a lot more knowledgeable about dogs than me, you can let me know in the comments uh, what you think her mom looks like. I love you so much, Papa. Can you believe you're all these things that Mommy didn't know? Can you believe you're all these things that Mommy didn't know? Well, that's crazy. All right, Weenie. Say goodbye. Say bye, everybody. I'm Weenie. My name is Weenie. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, this is my good girl. Thank you guys so much for watching and going on this journey with me about my dog and what she is and it's been really nice and really fun and I feel like I know a lot more about her and I'm definitely going to research those other breeds that are in her genetics so I can figure out why she's such a dick. <laughs> no, but seriously, my dog's not a dick to me, but she is kind of a dick to, uh, oh, she heard something. She doesn't really like strangers. Um, she did chase the FedEx man and that was scary because I thought she was gonna bite him and then I was like, oh shit, my dog's gonna be in dog jail and I was very scared, but she didn't. Oh, you brought the toy? Bring it out. That's the toy, you brought it, come here. You brought the toy? You brought your mangled toy. Where you at? Where you at, puppy? Um, so yeah. <laughs> I guess the the coat coloring is just cattle uh just cattle dog then or like red healer blue healer. I mean what else could that be? Interesting. Interesting puppy. But she definitely like when she meets a new person, she's not that dog that's like, oh my god, a new person, I'm so excited. She's kind of like, ooh, a new person. Ew. And then I have to be like, no, it's just a new person, and then I have to tell people, don't look her in the eye. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys very, very much for watching. Um, let me know about your doggies in the comments below because I love doggies, they're my favorite. Now I'm going to take a moment to thank my patrons. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I'm happy to announce that um, 
the pre-order for my tarot deck closed today and um, so those of you who got yours got yours and then if you want one later they will be full price and not discounted for the uh, pre-order um, and so thank you very much to all my patrons who made that very possible for me I fucking love you guys and if you want a chance to win the prototype version of the deck um, I am giving that away when I reach 10,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. I will be posting on the community tab um, with information on how to enter to win those. So thank you guys. I love you so much. Now I will verbally thank my Diamond Tier patrons. Thank you very much, Bruno, Lindsay, Sarah, Sarah, and Krista. Thank you. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye! Okay, you can click all my little buttons. You can click my subscribe you circle or the video or playlist that is listed below. You will also find a link down there to my Patreon where you guys can support me for as little as $1 a month. I love you very much. I'll see you later. Bye!